Hi, Paul from Trek It here. We're upstairs at the Hereford shop in our lovely big tent, rucksack and expedition showroom. This is a great space for us. Your customers can come up, we can actually put the tents up and you can crawl around in, inside them and get a real sense of what it's going to be like inside the tent. Today, we're looking at the Fjall Raven, Fjall Raven, or however you want to pronounce it, the Abisko Light One. So it's part of their Abisko family of tents and it's designed for one person. It's designed to be lightweight and in true Fjall Raven uh, philosophy is designed for longevity and quality. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not a super lightweight tent, it's not stupidly thin fabrics. It's designed to last a lifetime and provide you with years of great service. It's about 1.6-ish kilos. Harry will put the full specs up on the screen, I'm sure. So yeah, not super, super lightweight, featherweight, but it's, we like to call it a sensible weight. So you're gonna get a tent with the Fjall Raven Abisko Light. You're gonna get a tent that's gonna last you for years. It's built to last, but it's still light enough to carry for one person. The other advantages of this tent is, despite its quality and its design, it's got a nice low profile. So it's got a very good wind shedding design. So as long as you pitch it either end into the wind, you're gonna get a nice sleek aerodynamic shape. And it's got a tiny pack size. Most tents pack size uh, is dictated by each individual pole length. Obviously you can't squash a pole down tiny. Uh, and what the Arabin have done is they've used shorter pole sections but more of them. So it gives you a much shorter pack size and it uses a really nifty little stuff sack which we'll show you later. So uh, where would you use it? You could use this pretty much all year round. Uh, it will withstand some very strong winds. Uh, it's a fully waterproof uh, siliconized triple rip nylon fabric. It uses a 20 denier over the main body of the tent. And then down the main, wane, uh, main wear areas, you've got a 40 denier fabric here and also on the ground sheet. So those areas that get the most abuse, they've used a much heavier weight fabric just to give you that durability and reliability. So again, not super lightweight, not mountain marathon, racing snake light, but just a good sensible weight for those who expect their tent to last and perform in all conditions. So let's take you around some of the features. As you can see, uh, typical of, of tents like this, you can all, often suffer with a uh, very low either head or foot end, but Fjallraven have used four little alloy poles here just to prop the ends of the tent up. And what that does is it creates a really nice inner space. You don't get the inner tent bagging down around you. It's a single pitch, so the whole tent goes up as one. The inner is attached uh, to the outer uh, with a simple system. You can detach the two if you've got to dry or if you just want to strip the weight down and just use the fly sheet, you can do that to give you a real minimal camping experience. Plenty of ventilation on this tent. You've got a nice big uh, reinforced vent here and then at either end you've got zipped ventilation ports with mesh covering to stop insects getting in. So th those are designed to maximise the airflow through the tent. So uh, if we were pitching this tent outdoors, uh, we'd hopefully the wind direction will be coming from there or coming from here. So the airflow is through that direction of the tent. Now I'll just touch a little bit on condensation. Unfortunately condensation is uh, it's a fact of life when you're camping. Uh, it, it, it happens when you have a, a higher humidity on the inside of the tent than the outside of the tent or a higher temperature differential. So it's, it's, it's physics basically, warm air uh, reaching cold air on the outside. If you breathe on a, on a cold pane of glass, you know, you get that condensation on the inside and that's exactly what's happening here. So you're creating this warm, humid, muggy atmosphere inside the tent and generally it will be colder or as humid on the outside, so that moisture just can't go anywhere. So the trick is to keep the tent as well ventilated as possible. Uh, it's, it's often very tempting when you're getting your tent to zip it all up, close it all down, batten down for the night, but you want to try and leave as many of the vents open or as many of the doors open as the weather conditions will allow to minimise that condensation. So, talking of ventilation, there's your ventilation panel at the end and that opens through and you can see that goes directly through to the ventilation panel on the outside of the tent. So you can open and close that from the inside 
just to control your airflow. So while we're talking about that, I just want to point out a really nice feature of this tent. VR Raven have, have designed this with that in mind to maximize the ventilation. So as well as these vent ports around the tent, I'll just move to this side here, unzip this door. You'll notice at the bottom of the door here, there's a little toggle. And what you can do is you can reach up inside the tent and just above the door here, you'll find a little loop. Pop the toggle through the loop and then you zip the door back down. And it'll only go that far because it's captivated there. So what that does is it gives you a great big opening over the vestibule, but still protecting the contents from the rain. That can just drip off onto that area there. So that gives you loads of ventilation through the tent. It's a really neat little feature. Very clever bit of thinking by those Swedes. Okay, so that's pretty much the outside of the tent. It's, uh, let's say, got a single transverse hoop pole, uh, red pole there, and then you've got the gold four corner poles, all held and captivated in grommets nicely. So very quick and easy to put up once you've got the hang of it. It is a little bit fiddly when you get out of the bag, but once you've got your head around it and you've read the instructions a couple of times, uh, Harry and I got this up pretty quickly, two to three minutes. It's pretty straightforward. If you're used to pitching a tent, you'll, uh, you'll get the hang of it nice and easily. So access into this great little tent is through this single opening here. It's, it's, it's a single sided entry, it's designed for one person. Uh, so to roll this out of the way, just unzip it all the way back on the inside, start rolling from the bottom, tuck it in. And you can see these two loops here and a little toggle system on the inside. You poke the toggle through the loop and tighten it up. And it just sec secures the door beautifully. It's just these little uh, fine attention to detail and quality craftsmanship that really sets these tents apart. Uh, you know, that's a really neat opening there. It's not flapping around in the wind and not annoying you. Uh, whilst we're here, you'll notice these tension bands, these cord tension bands, which help to keep the tent nice and stable. They link the inner and the outer together to the poles to create that stable platform. So really strong and stable. So you've got a big C-shaped door that opens all the way around, giving you loads of access inside there. And it's a double zip door, so you can, uh, you can have it as a solid door, or you can roll the section back to create an open mesh door as well. So obviously if it's warm, uh, or you, you just want to get maximum ventilation, zip that one back, have the mesh door. If you want to keep the heat in, cover it up. So I'm quite tall, I'm six foot three, and I can just about sit upright in here. It's my head is touching the top, but like I said, I'm tall. And if it was tipping down with rain, and I wanted to uh, sit here and admire the view without getting soaking wet, there's enough room for me to sit here nicely. It's a ruby enough vestibule. I could get my rucksack and my boots and bits and pieces in here quite nicely. So for one person, this is a really spacious tent. Uh, if I lie down, I've got Ooh, I've got a good 30, 40 centimetres at the top of my head and about the same at my feet. So it's a really nice, long inner tent. And we've got uh, a lightweight seat to summit mat in here and there's plenty of room around that as well. So lovely space, big vestibule space, just about enough room to sit up comfortably and admire the view. So inside, uh, we'll have a look at some of the features and we'll go through those and Harry's going to bring the camera up and we'll get some close-ups and I'll talk you through some of the features. Up here, you've got a little mesh pocket, put in your, your phone or your, your headlamp or whatever. And also down here, you've got an additional pocket, two here, plenty of organizer space, and another one over on this side. Also, another nice little feature, if Harry can get this in, is this little guy line up here, so you can hang things up, and it's got a little cam lock adjustable on there, so you can slacken that off, adjust it, tighten it up. These are all really nice little features that just add to the overall quality of the tent. Okay, so if it's great weather and you just want to get a little bit more vestibule space and you're not actually using the inner tent at the moment, what you can do is grab this little loop here, pull that back, and that adds an additional vestibule space for cooking or for storage. And then once you've finished, you've done your washing up, you've popped some pans, you've had your brew, simply slide that back, and there's your full inner tent again. What we're going to do now is we're just going to pack it away I'll show you what it looks like in the bag and we'll go through the contents of the bag so you know exactly what you're getting with this tent. So give me a couple of seconds, we'll get this packed down and I'll be back in a minute. So what you get, you get the, uh, the 
fly sheet and the inner tent inside the bag and this is a really nice double skinned uh, compression type bag you can close that up squash that down pull the draw cord up and then rather handily printed on the outside of that balance there is some information about the tent and your pitching instructions so you can never lose them uh, but then just in case there's a belt and braces you do get full pitching instructions inside and this is printed on uh, waterproof paper so again if you're going to chuck it around on the floor it's not going to get damaged and then on the outside of the bag you get your uh, pole bag and you can see in here you've got the uh, main red pole you've got the four yellow poles uh, which go into the corners and then you get a spare pole section just in case you never know you might damage a pole and you can replace that section and get it back home to get you safely through the night and then also you've got your pegs you get 16 of these bad boys really nice little lightweight alloy v pegs with a, a really nice touch of a, a little accessory cord loop on the end to make extraction much easier uh, really good high quality again not super lightweight sensible weight and focusing on quality so there you go there's your package poles pegs fly inner there's an Nalgene bottle so what is it is one and a half times the length of an Nalgene bottle and about one and a half times the width of an Nalgene bottle so a really compact little package thanks to those shorter pole sections so cracking little tent really impressed by that one like it a lot it's probably the one I'd get if I was going to go for a super lightweight tent uh, that's going to last me a long time it's good quality and it's going to be enjoyable to use and last me for years and years so Harry will put all the uh, relevant technical data up on the screen so you can uh, feast your eyes on that and as usual guys if you want to put your comments or suggestions or feedback down uh, below here we always welcome it it's always good to hear from you uh, this is Paul signing off see you again soon